He's worried about himself. He's worried about Taeyong Medical. They're willing to kill to cover things up, to preserve their precious image. Their reasons are savage compared to mine. I don't believe this is who you are. Something changed in you after Cypress surgery. Made you do things you would never have done otherwise, for reasons that aren't your own. But it's not too late. Don't be so naive. I am who I've always been. Cypress surgery, all he did was give me access to another man's technique. His courage to follow through. I can still help you. Ad hominem 2026. Is... is... <clears throat> what did you do? Is... is that how machines pray? Listen to me. The neural chip that Dr. Sipper installed in you is in the process of shutting down. Try to focus. This version of you that's been hurting people. I don't believe that was really you. Then... Then you don't know me very well. Why? Why should this change anything? The procedure gave me access to memory banks that weren't my own. The choice to draw on those memories was mine alone. You... You... You can't take them from me. The shutdown process may take some time. There may be lingering effects. But that doesn't mean it's too late to help you. You really believe that, don't you? All right. P prove it. Approach me. Come closer. Save me from all those horrible things Dr. Sipra did. There's nothing to be scared of, right? Surely whatever trace of the har harvester was inside me is gone now that you've said the magic word. You obviously need more help than I can offer, but that doesn't mean it's not out there. Whatever power the neural chip had over you should be diminishing now. You should be able to fight whatever urges Svoboka's memories inspired in you. I... I don't need help. You do. You need to be... Sa sa saved. All Ogs need to be saved. Svoboka inspired me to... to... I can make you human again. I have to make you human again to atone for what I am. This notion you got that augmented people need saving, that there's something less than human. Look, I didn't know her, but I guarantee you Angela Gunn was a human being. Her humanity was defined by her ideas, her passions, the causes she believed in. It had nothing to do with whether or not she was augmented. Svobodka never saw them as individuals. To him, they were victims of an age that terrified him. Mirror images of the monster he had become. He believed the entire race was under attack, that mechanization would keep our souls from migrating. How does that sound like to you when you say it? Migration of the soul, victims of an age. I'm not talking abstract concepts here. I'm talking about people. Svobodka never saw his victims as human beings because it would have made it impossible to do what he did. He was sick. He was scared. Whatever he was, he was no savior. You're right. The more he killed, the easier it became. That is why he had to repeat the actions, ritualize them. It was a way of justifying his beliefs. If you kill one man, their memory is like an anvil. If you kill seven, you quickly forget the first. It all starts to seem inevitable. Surely it must be obvious to you by now. The Daria you came here to save no longer exists. She hasn't for a long time. All that remains now is his drive, his legacy, his cause. 
Fabotka didn't have a cause. He was a serial killer, acting out on impulses that he tried to couch in spiritual rhetoric. A way of convincing himself that his actions were justified, but they weren't. No amount of faith or abstraction makes it okay to dehumanize people the way he did. No. No, it doesn't. But so what if you're right? So what that Svobodka's motivations cannot stand up to scrutiny? His actions, my actions, cannot be justified. Where does that leave me? If those others did not deserve to die, then I deserve to die. It's not for me to judge you. I want smarter people than me to look into this neural procedure you underwent. Dig into Cipra and Tai Young. So you're offering me a fair trial? I'm not offering anything. But if there's any hope of moving on here, not killing anyone else is a good start. Society has every right to judge you, and it also has a right to hear all about Cipra and Tai Young Medical. I'm not an expert on extenuating circumstances, but I'd say you have an interesting case. You were right before, about the override process taking time. I can feel him receding. Memories of, of memories no longer crashing against me like they did. Let me prove it to you. Come closer. I want at least one person to know that I'm no longer what I was. All right, Daria, we need to get you out of here for real now. This needs to end. The version of me who did those things to Angela, I, I cannot even imagine it being me, even though I, I know it was. Whatever happens now, whatever the authorities decide, I hope you believe me. What's going on here? What the hell am I interrupting? Detective Montag? Daria's got a story to tell you. How you react may have something to do with your thoughts on experimental neural therapies and big medical conglomerates. I don't understand. Where is the harvester? I, I want to turn myself in. One of you really needs to start explaining. I want to confess to the killings of Angela Gunn, Misha Voracek, Pavel Klima, and Leonie Wolf. I also need to tell you about the neural procedure I underwent. It involves Tai Young Medical and a man named Dr. Nicholas Sipra. I hope you'll listen. You can handle this from here. Just listen carefully to what she has to say. <laughs> 